Hey guys, Ratchet Reviews here again with another Transformers video review. This time I will be taking a look at the middle brother of the Autobot Brothers. We're taking a look at the Prowl figure from Robots in Disguise. Also known in Car Robots as Mock Alert. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at him in his vehicle mode here. He is a Lamborghini Diablo police car with a, or a Japanese Lamborghini Diablo police car. So... Uh, he does have the Japanese text on here for police, as well as the uh, striping that we would see on a traditional Japanese police car. Um, now, I, growing up I always thought that the, what is the uh, practicality of having a police car that doesn't have a back row? And this is, I learned that some countries like um, Italy especially, will do this. They have them for high pursuit vehicles. They're the ones that are to pull the people over and apprehend them. Not necessarily put them in the back of the car and take them back to the station. They're the ones who catch the criminals on the road and then keep them detained on the road until backup can arrive. So, what better way to do that than a super fast supercar? But yeah, so here's Prowl in his robot or vehicle mode. Um, as you can see here, I don't know how well it's coming off on camera, but it is yellowing really bad. This is one of the first figures that I've ever had in my collection. So this has been with me for 20 years. One owner for 20 years. Um, actually, between me and my brother, he was the one who got this for Christmas. So this was his, and then... He just stopped collecting, so I inherited all the ones left over, pretty much. So, um, yeah, if you can't tell, there's a lot of yellowing and a lot of uh, paint scratches on him. But other than that, the paint de uh, deco is really good. Um, we do have this very nice black stripe that goes all the way around the vehicle. No part of it is missed. We have clear... Um, dark like clear smoke gray for the wit for the tail lights but with red painted over him as well as we do have the reflectors on the side reflectors on the side here painted and then all the uh, fog lights and other headlights on the front painted as well and then the um the biggest part or, that you can tell where it's been yellowing is the fact that the translucent plastic white um, was actually very well paint matched with the actual plastic colored white. So this thing does yellow over time. That is one thing to be aware of. The other thing to be aware of is just like all the other Autobots in this line uh, that feature these real world vehicle modes. Uh, they do have the uh, chrome wheels with rubber tires, and they are very prone to drying out and cracking over time. So that is one thing to be aware of, but mine seem to be doing okay since they are thinner, and they don't go through a lot of stress all that much, so they're still in pretty decent condition. But yeah, as you can see, it does roll pretty well. Mine kind of... The, due to the transformation, it is hard to get all four wheels to sit flush. So therefore, when you go to try to get him to roll, he does have a tendency to uh, kind of drift from one side to another. So that is another thing. Uh, just paying attention to the transformation. Yeah. So, um, unfortunately, I do not have Prowl from Siege transformed in vehicle mode. I was going to use them for the robot mode comparison, so here instead we are going to put them side by side next to the Siege Ironhide figure, just because I still have him in vehicle mode, so. Um, for Deluxes, for the two of them being both Deluxe by name, um, they do share pretty good same size. It's just, uh, like I've said before so many times, that 20 years ago this cost $10, and then today this cost $20, and this feels like more of a substantial figure than this does. So there's that to point out. Now, the other, the other thing to point out about him is his play feature. Um, I honestly feel like this play feature is the weakest of the three, and it's these jet boosters. We get a left one and a right one, 
and both of them have these flame effect missiles coming out of them so they're pressure fire missiles so all you have to do is just push your thumb on it and then it launches now they do work in the sense of a missile launcher pretty well um, but they also do work as thrusters which actually was featured in the show where you can take these and they do plug into the back of the spoiler or the bottom of the spoiler like this and then fold it up and then now he's got thrusters coming off of him so he's an even faster Lamborghini coincidentally the pegs that you use you use to plug them into the spoiler are the same size of pegs that you use for the light bar so you can also use the light bar as the uh, as the base for the thrusters like I mentioned in x bronze video though I'm not going to show all three of them in car mode side by side because I just want them to survive a little bit longer and me transforming them back and forth several times I feel like that is a gamble I don't want to take so especially midway through doing a review series so we'll take a look at all three of them in vehicle mode and all three of them in robot mode when I get to sideburn so go ahead and take a look at the transformation here for prowl first thing we're gonna do is we are going to carefully unpeg these doors and swing this joint at the side here because I do say carefully because this is a ball joint and this is translucent plastic and this side is cracking really bad on mine I've tried using some super glue and some modeling glue to try to to fix that crack and try to get it to stay back in place but it does seem like it's not going to survive very much longer without completely breaking and at this point it's so loose that it barely even sits on the ball joint anymore as it is so we're just going to take this one off for now set it off to the side um, just because it's going to get in the way of the transformation so anyways going to go ahead and uh, loosen up the windscreen and we're going to fold that up and then fold the front of the car up and then pull the legs down and then there we're going to rotate the foot around and then rotate the knee around and then do the same on this side So that way the feet are facing that way and the knees are facing this way and then rotate the panel down and then just kind of fold it down a little ways I'll form some skirt armor and then take this section here and then I'll actually accordion into the back and then the windscreen is going to fold over the front of the car and then just slide the waist up into the body let's see if I can at least get this to stay on just for the sake of display okay this, we'll deal with that later so there's that come up here now take the front or take this piece and we're gonna fold that down and then fold the exhaust pipes up and then push that all the way so it is flush with his chest and then take the back of the car split it down fold the arm down straighten it out and 
and then do the same with this one. And then also fold the uh, fold the back part of the Lamborghini so that way it's flush with his arm. And there we have Prowl in his robot mode. Now, go ahead and um, get him in to position here. And we're gonna go ahead and zoom in. And take a look at that head sculpt. I think the one part of white that didn't get yellowed too much would be his head. And that is actually kind of showing the fact that the white plastic of the figure does kind of uh, hide some of the detail. And then we also do have a little bit of the black paint on the siding and otherwise a pretty nice looking head sculpt. Just like um, x -Bron, Prowl does have a lot of additional details being uh, featured in robot mode that were not featured in vehicle mode at all. Let's see if I can get this to sit on here now. Maybe. Nope. Okay. So... Just like I was saying, Braun, or just like x Braun, Prowl does have a lot of detail being featured in this mode that was absent in uh, vehicle mode. We do have a lot of these clear pieces here on the shoulders showing off a lot of um, inner workings, a lot of extra detail, a lot of silver paint on them. We also do have a new chest piece, some silver paint on a clear um, smoke gray block as well as a raised Autobot symbol in chrome red. And we also have some more paint on the body and some legs. And overall, really nice looking figure. Okay. So we're just going to keep this off right now, just because I don't want to worry about it possibly breaking on camera especially since this is a 20 year old figure and this has been in my collection since me and my brother were little so anyways um some more size comparisons we'll go ahead and show them up next to the siege prowl figure and as you can see um prowl is one of those legacy characters that throughout the years um has stayed somewhat consistent with his design um he's still a white police car uh still white and black has the same little swish here the biggest change is the transformation sequence he doesn't have the car sticking out of the front of him anymore and now he's got these big shoulder pads instead of wings off the back but again as you saw, he's about the same size as a modern day deluxe, and he costs ten dollars less. And I feel like the uh, the um, engineering in him is a little bit better, and he's a little bit denser of a figure. We'll go ahead and, and uh, get him next to the big boss, Optimus Prime. There, as you can see, Optimus Prime, just like X Braun and um, Prowl, it should be a bit taller. Um, pretty good uh, size comparison right there. Now on to some of the uh, pos onto the posability of this figure. Um, he's pretty decently posable, just like the other Car Brothers. His head is on a swivel, very tight on this one. It does allow for a full range of 360 degree movement. However, mine's just very tight and very old so I don't break it then we also have ball joints in these shoulders here which allows for bending upwards like that as well as rotating for 360 degrees 
And then there's also, due to the transformation, we do have a hinge there for forward movement in the shoulder. Um, due to the transformation, we do have this really, really uh, loose hinge right here, which it doesn't really fit for anything for uh, posability. But we do have a ball joint in the elbow as well, uh, so it does rotate 360 degrees as well as um, bend at 90. Uh, this arm shares all the same articulation, but we do have a giant shield stuck in the way now. We also do not have any posability in the waist. Uh, hips are cut for a ball joint, but the way the ball joint is uh, with the other kibble that would be in the way, the leg can only go out about that far. You can go back that far and go forward that far. And we have another ball joint in the knee for 90 degree bend as well as some rotation so we can get somewhat of a more natural a stance and then we actually have a double ball joint in the ankle for a wide range of articulation so definitely um has a lot more a lot better points to articulation than uh Expron does. He is a little bit more symmetrical than Expron, so he does have that uh, going for him too. And we also do have the um, the rocket launchers again. We can go ahead and bring them in. And they do just peg onto his arm like so. I'm not going to fire off the missiles because I don't like to especially these missiles are very difficult to fire out for some reason i think it's just because i i didn't really like firing them out when i was a kid me or my brother never did so we uh we usually left them in there and now the plastic is just really tight when it comes to that so also um another thing that these can do like i said before what since they are also thrusters in vehicle mode and the light bar is the same size of peg like the same shape of pegs you can actually plug these on to his back to form a jetpack so that is something he can do that's pretty funny we'll go ahead and take them off for now so like I mentioned with Experon, all three of the Car Brothers are really good figures to own. Um, they make a very great set piece if you have all three of them. Um, definitely, in terms of posability, Prowl is stronger than Experon. And also just due to the whole fact that he is a little bit more symmetrically designed than the other two Car Brothers. Um, some people would think that would be a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. But we also do have um, one more Autobot brother to look at too. And um, out of the three, this one is the easiest to transform, I feel like. Um, there's nothing really too ex extravagant about how he transforms. He just does it and does it pretty decently. Um, when I get into Sideburns transformation, I'll explain to you in a little bit more detail on why I think this figure, especially this brother here, Prowl being the uh, easiest one out of the three. So if you're into, if you can only pick one of them up, um, take that into consideration that he is easier to transform than the other two, but his design is a little bit more, um, a little less unique than the other two. And also keep in mind of the fact that he is 90% white plastic and that plastic can yellow over time. Also be aware of the wheels, the uh, rubber tires being um, fragile and prone to cracking and breaking over time. As well as clear plastic ball joints. So definitely be aware of that. 
So that being said, uh, if you can find this figure for a good price, I do recommend picking him up. If you can look past those very big flaws, that is just going to get worse and worse over time for this figure. He's definitely not going to stand the test of time compared to his other brothers, but at least um, he doesn't do as much either. So it's not like the trade-off there is too big. Like, the engineering with him is the least amount. I feel like if Again, if you're going to go for either of the three of them, um, if you like easy transformations, easier transformations, but not too, di like, middle ground, not too difficult, not too hard, not too easy, though, um, definitely this one's a good one for that. But uh, the other two do bring a little bit more to the table, and we'll get looking at um, sideburn here shortly as well and be able to give a final verdict on the Car Brothers. So, that being said, this is Ratchet Reviews. I hope you guys like this video review, and I will see you again next time. Bye.